Why, hello there. Fancy seeing you here. Well, welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded Plus Ultra. The game series that is getting very close to not existing anymore. Why, you may ask? It's simple. A little thing that Concerned Ape is calling Stardew Valley 1.6. Why do I say that? Well, Concerned Ape recently just came out with a, uh, a post on Twitter saying and, uh, Stardew Valley is getting a new upgrade to 1.6. Now, as excited as I am for this, I am a bit worried. Because I have a little thing called mods. All of these mods are configured to Stardew Valley 1.5. So when 1.6 comes out, unless these the mod creators uh, fix them fast, uh, this game series is uh, not looking too bright. It doesn't have a long future ahead of it. So, even though that's a bit dark and dreary, there are some good- there is some good news. So, with- with Stardew Valley 1.6, we're getting a new festival! Now, a lot of people are saying this is uh, going to be a summer festival because that's the longest distance. There's the longest distance from one festival to the next is in the summer. Although, I wouldn't, uh... I don't mind having another spring festival myself, but we'll have to wait and see. Some new items, which is very exciting. Some people are thinking that maybe we're going to get a new ooh, a scythe from because of that joke tweet of an Iridium scythe that he concerned date put out, out a while ago. We're going to get more dialogue options between NPCs, which is really cool. And many secrets and mysteries to uh, discover. It's time to name our chickens. I thought really hard. I thought, thought for a long time about what the perfect name for a chicken would be. One that shows we love it and care for it and want it to grow into a nice healthy chicken. We are naming it Three, eight, six, close bracket, open bracket, six, six, close bracket, open bracket, six, zero, close bracket. Don't look at me like that. Don't give me that look. You've all done this before. I just happen to do it frequently. Let's see, what else do we need on our sh little shopping list? Because let's be honest, Marnie is a smuggler. How else are we supposed to be able to get this lore-wise in the game? It's because Marnie is smuggling in items and by uh, giving her specific codes uh, that uh, tells her that we're, we're here for very specific items that she's smuggling in through animals. That is the only logical explanation. So, yeah, we are uh, participating in the smuggling, in her smuggling ring, but let's be honest, we've all done that. Okay, we need a topaz, a ruby, and an aquamarine. Topaz, ruby, and an aquamarine. Should we get one more chicken? Nah, two chickens is enough. So, we've officially uh, participated in Marnie's smuggling ring. From my, what I gather, Gunther uh, sold the uh, previous museum uh, collection off at, for money. For whatever purpose, he needed money. And... No, he uses Marnie to smuggle those items. And uh, so Marnie 
he has a system set up where someone buys uh, her chickens but gives a very specific code to her she'll like uh, uh, also sell or give them parts of uh, the previous museum collection so basically marnie and uh, and gunther are criminals but don't give me that look that i know you're all giving me typing down the comments you've all done the same thing But again, this is another reason why a, a, the mushroom cave is better than the fruit cave. You can literally just get the one or two fruits you need from uh, participating in Marnie's smuggling ring. Right, we can't feed these guys until we get a silo. Time to uh, go get Robin to build us a silo then. Because they need food. Going back to what I was talking about earlier with the uh, new update it coming out soon, I'm excited to, to see what we're going to be getting. Because I honestly thought we were er, never going to get another uh, Stardew Valley update. Ever since uh, Concerned Ape uh, moved on to do bigger and better things with Haunted Chocolatier. Which I'm very excited to play, by the way. Uh, Maru, what are you doing here? Sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. You just... You work at a doctor's office, though. Okay. Anyways. So, I, did, I never realized we were going to get uh, no, more content. So, a new festival to play around with. No, new items and secrets to explore. I'm all for it. I just hope that uh, we'll be able to continue with our modded playthrough. Because Stardew Valley Expanded is a very a fun add-on to the game. Hey, maybe uh, uh, Concerned Ape will add a recolor option. Where you can recolor parts of uh, the game. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Bundle complete! One furnace, one emerald, one aquamarine, one ruby, one topaz. Bundle complete. Reward, a lucky lunch. Now we just need a gold bar. How convenient, right guys? How convenient. I do wonder though, with the uh, new 1.6 update, are we going to get any uh, new who uh, you talk or or connections to the haunted chocolatier world? The vault. All right, that that's still just money. I'm running two different conversations at once, sorry. First, let's see if we have any uh, new remixes on the bundle, on the bulletin board. No, field researchers the same. Children's bundle, that's different. Okay. You know, we've had each of all of this in our possession at one point, and we got rid of it. If I knew this was in the remix bundle, I would have kept all that. The die bundle. Iridium bar? Emily has expensive tastes. Yikes. Chef's bundle, that's the same. Forger bundle. Nice, nice. I can respect that. Lots of new stuff to explore and play with. Yeah, it may be year uh, two. No, it definitely will be year two before we finish the... Yeah, community center. Even if we participate in Marnie's smuggling ring. There's just no way to get all of uh, that stuff at once. Yes, I uh, will do Marnie's participate in the smuggling ring if that will get us a few th new items that are just... Oh, come on. How are we ever supposed to obtain that? Or just to 
speed the process up. But I'm not going to just keep doing that for everything. Don't worry. I'm not just going to uh, do that for every single item. Now, let's go chop down some wood for a chicken fence. So, for those of you that to keep up with that sort of news, what that, uh, are your thoughts on Haunted Chocolatier? Supposedly going to be a, a single-player Willy Wonka style where you get to make your own chocolates and things. With uh, uh, new villagers, new things. I'm very excited for it. Anything uh, made by Concerned Dave is going to be a masterpiece. But I'm also excited for the fact that it's not going to be the same as Stardew Valley. It's not just going to be, here's Stardew Valley but with chocolate. It's has going to have its own unique gameplay, unique mechanics. So I'm very excited. Of course, I'm also excited to learn if uh, there's going to be mods. Because if people are going to make mods for it and turn it into Haunted Chocolatier Expanded, I'll be interested to see how that works. But little pro tip when it comes to mod, mod working. Probably don't mod things immediately. Like, don't just go out and try to mod a Haunted Chocolatier, if that's even allowed, the second that, that it comes out. Because there might be a few uh, random bugs, there might be uh, some catastrophic stuff if that goes wrong. So, uh, my recommendation is just to wait that, that out. Uh, just wait for the updates to come out to truly make the help turn the game into something being, uh, bigger and better. If you mod it too early, then... You know, there might be uh, things that go horribly wrong with your own copy of the game, etc. And we wouldn't want that. I obviously can't tell you to do. But just have caution when uh, modding or doing things to assist doing things to systems like that. Because you never know if what you're doing will uh, harm the game that you're trying to make better. Not the prettiest fence in the world, but it'll keep the chickens in at least. So you don't have to go wandering around looking for them all over the place. Here's another thought. Is there going to be custom clothing in Haunted Chocolatier? Because if there is, is there going to be a reference to Willy Wonka in any sort of way? I'm just very curious. I'm very excited to play it. Of course, I'm also very excited for the uh, new Stardew Valley update. Don't know when that's coming out, but very excited for it nonetheless. <laughs> brand new day, let's make brand new mistakes. Oh hey, the strawberries grew. I didn't think they were going to. Didn't expect these to grow or get any new crops before the end of the season. Pleasant surprise. Hello, Robin. Enjoy building the silo. Alright, we have some stuff to take to Clint today. But otherwise, why don't we go to the mines today? We got a lucky lunch, so as long as we down that, we'll be good to go, right? Yes. Put that over there so we don't accidentally eat it. Go back in here and pull out our green bean. Which is going to be our snack halfway through when we're dying. And head on. We'll pet the chickens uh, uh, tonight when we get back. We're not going to stay too long. We're just going to try and get to level 40. Also... A, a big thank you to the people uh, responding in the comments to my videos. Trying to figure out uh, who could be the thief that stole from me. Oh, Linus. I don't think you saw this, but here. Okay, fine game, I won't. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. 
I'm going to be your friend one way or another. And by that, I mean I'm going to keep giving you uh, gifts that you could easily uh, walk and get to yourself. Anyways, so some of the comments were, or it could have been Pierre. Like, yes, he is much greedier than Joja Corp. It also could have been in a Haley, which I thought was an interesting comment. Like, yes, it definitely could have been Haley. I wouldn't put it past her. Especially since she is the resident mean girl of the valley. We will never know the truth, though, will we? How lucky will we get today, I wonder? How lucky will we get today, I wonder? Aha, a ladder. Hello, bug. The bug, the bat, and the other bug. We're definitely getting to level 40. Be nice if we could get to an area where we could start farming iron ore. Of course, I also would like some gold ore as well. Just getting to an area with something besides copper ore would be nice. It seems today is a good luck day. I never bothered to check, but we're getting pretty far in the mines. Of course, I know I just jinxed myself. So, before we can go any further in the mines, once we get to level 40, we're going to need to upgrade our pickaxe. Like I, I said in an earlier video, it, it's an investment of our time to make the mines easier. So that's where some of our copper is going. So while the pickaxe is being done... Ah! Slingshot! Yay! That's going to be very nice. So while the pickaxe is being done, the question remains... What exactly are we going to be uh, doing with the rest of our time? As you can see, that takes pretty long to break. And yes, I do know the trick of using the slingshot with explosive ammo, but we're kind of broke right now and we do not have that much money. We do not have that many resources to put towards explosive ammo or cherry bombs. So that is just gonna have to wait. Like, see how long it took to break just that bit of iron ore? We need to upgrade our pickaxe. I'm just gonna smartly gun leave. Because we have to uh, definitely prepare for that in advance. So let's go take care of our chickens and uh, give them actual names now. And don't worry, we're not going to do that trick for every single uh, animal we get. But just to make sure we can uh, finish the community center before or year 50 or so. And also just to show you guys what that trick was. So, in case you guys are curious about what exactly I did, although I'm pretty sure it's well known by now, there is a... Let me go from the beginning. Every item in Stardew Valley, from the simple stone to bug meat to prismatic shard, has a item number in the game's code. Just so Oyet knows that when you pick that thing up, that's the thing you get, and not, a. Uh, item that you didn't pick up. Unfortunately though, or not so unfortunately for us, there's a small glitch exploit where if uh, a villager or some or some text or dialogue says that number or that you get that item. That's probably because of the uh, the cutscenes where you're gifted an item for some reason. 
that's probably why that little little, uh, little thing exists. So by naming a, a item a sp specific number within the open and close brackets, you get items. Yes, you. There's a few ways to do this. The most popular one is with uh, participating in Marnie's smuggling ring. But there are alternatives, such as naming your your farm or farmer, or a uh, string of numbers and items too. And whenever someone says your name, name in a uh, dialogue option, you're gonna get it to those items you chose. However, that has the drawback of every time uh, of that's the, you don't really have a true proper farm name, you don't have a true proper or farmer name. It's all just the number, which is why a Marnie's the animals are the more popular option, and it's just a one-off thing. And you can uh, rename the chickens afterwards. Do we need? Did we need a red uh, mushroom for anything? Animal fall quality. No, we need a purple mushroom. Nope. No. Construction bundle fall foraging exotic foraging. All right, now we can just go ahead and sell you. Let's go say hi to our chickens. Oh, we didn't even let them out today. They're gonna be upset. Hi. Your new name from now on will be... Your new name from now on will be Nugget. And your new name from now on will be... Stir Fry. You're going to notice a, a theme when I name my animals. And no, not really sorry. Animals are tasty. Alright, chickens. With some grass right there in the uh, coop area, they'll at least be able to eat until I can uh, have the silo finished. We can't do any more mining or combat until we upgrade our pickaxe, but we need a bit more money before we can do that. Farming, we have to wait until the end of the, the start of summer and the end of spring before we can really do anything else with that. So that leaves foraging and fishing. Huh. We might be able to start Linus's two heart to a bit soon. You know, maybe we should plan for the future. And by that I mean play a game of Dating Simulator Valley. So which leads to the question, which of the Stardew Valley villagers, the expanded ones included, is the most dateable? Obviously only the ones that are single. But who should we date? Should we go for the classic Abigail? Should we go for someone more adventurous like Leah? Should we do one of the modded options like Sophia? I know everyone has different opinions. Haley is one of the most popular options. But she may or may not have stolen from us. So, not sure about that. And let's be honest. All of the villagers have their have a partner. Penny has uh, Sam. Abigail has Sebastian. Now, Leah has Elliot. Forgot his name there for a second. They each have a pair. Harvey has Maru. You can even see that during the uh, spring festival. That they each gravitate towards their own, uh, own dance partner. We even saw earlier that uh, Penny and Sam were kind of going out. So, in, so with that revelation, since we're uh, not heartless, at least I think so, I'll have to check later, 
that leaves Sophia. So maybe we should uh, start getting to know Sophia a bit better. What do you guys think? Well, I can't hear you, but let me know down in the comments below if you agree. Because that's what we're going to start doing. Good girl. Hey, we did hit level 3 farming. I didn't think we were going to make that. Nice, nice. You should probably start to building a bee house soon, then. Oh, hey. That was fast. We have a silo. Alright, so. New plan for the day. We're going to uh, go to Clint's, break open some geodes, and uh, get our pick our pickaxe on the uh, path to uh, Iridium. And then we're going to start chopping in all of this grass and filling up our silo. Actually, it's only 6.30. Clint's not going to be open. Let's cut, reverse, paste that plan. And start filling up our silo now. And we'll see Clint in a bit. And as we're uh, using our scythe here, I don't understand why people are excited for the Iridium scythe. Yeah, it'd be cool to complete the collection and have everything like purple and glowing, but this, just the base alone, the base scythe works plenty fine and you don't really need to use it that much. Like if you need it to chop down uh, on just normal grass, you can get use your sword for that. The only thing you can really use this for is getting uh, fiber from the bug layer and uh, hay. And those are like pretty quick, even with the normal one. But with the gold scythe, which is hidden in a cave over by the quarry, we'll find we'll explore that later. You, you're you're plenty fast enough. So, I don't really understand what the Iridium Scythe would do, or if it would be uh, faster than the others, then would the others be slowed down to compensate? Because this is already pretty fast. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in the minority. I just don't see the point of the Iridium. 188 out of 240. Very nice. Oh, Clint. I have a job for you. You can quit stalking Emily for like five seconds. Hello, you two. Almost time to change the stock in the store. I'm looking forward to the summer season. I'm not looking forward to seeing you ever again. I don't want to work today, but Maurice says I have to. Well, uh, quit. Start working for Pierre. He may be greedier, but without you working there, I'm pretty sure Maurice won't have a lot of other options. Clint, my good man, congratulations. I just gave you work. Petrified slime, okay. And a limestone. One better pickaxe, please. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It'll be ready in a couple of days. Thank you, my good man. I guess we're gonna go fishing and or foraging. Oh, hi, Ollie. No, Martin. You look like an Ollie to me. Maybe it's the glasses. I sometimes take the bus here to check out books from the library. Okay. Cool. That guy with the goatee doesn't talk much. Because he's greedy. And he only talks to you if you have stuff for him. Here, let me demonstrate to you. Hello, Gunther. I would like to donate to the museum. Here's a petrified slime. And here is a uh, rock. See, Ollie? That's how you talk to this guy. I'm being ignored. Fine, have it your way. What's my reward? Uh, yeah, the random decoration that we all have on our farms and don't really know what to do with because it doesn't go with anything else. I'm not the biggest into uh, decorating your farm from head to toe, 
I like function more than a design, personally. But even when I do try to decorate, I don't know what to do with that rock. Do I just leave it in a in a chest somewhere? Should like it doesn't really work with anything else. All right, now that we're pick pickaxeless, let's go to the beach. Yes, I know we said we wanted to uh, talk to Sophia. However, yes, before you guys point out in the comments, I do notice the worms. I just can't be bothered to go get my uh, hoe right now. We need to go talk to Sophia. But I don't know what her likes and dislikes are. Well, one way to find out. Hold, please. Alright, that was easy. So, she likes Fairy Rose and Fairy Stones. Grampleton Orange Chicken. No clue how you're supposed to get that. And a puppy fish. Dogs, flowers, and strangely enough, orange chicken. Okay. Very interesting. Wonder how she'll like a piece of coral. That makes a good gift, right? Oh, Sophia! We have something for you! Sophia? Are you in here? I see we're gonna go on a little adventure. Where is Sophia? Are you on your farm? No. 140. You shouldn't be at the saloon already. He should be at Pierre's shopping. This isn't creepy at all, having the wiki open, uh, stalking the villagers. Not a creepy decision at all. She should be home at around... 3? But let's see if we can catch up to her on her way home. And if not, we'll... Uh, run uh, right back to her house. Oh, hello, Abigail. I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be putting all pulling another all-nighter. Uh, Miss Abigail, where do you go to school? From what I understand, you guys don't really have an internet connection down here. You don't have... Where are you going? They don't have internet connection. They don't have a school building. The bus, their only way in and out of this valley, is broken. So... Is she homeschooling herself? Caroline and none of the other adults uh, seem to be yeah, teaching. Hello, Andy. I heard on the news that the summer heat this year will be more intense than an egg on a skillet. My friend, you should move to Texas. Then you may talk to me about heat. Like, the only uh, teaching that goes on is Penny teaching Sebastian and... Not Sebastian. Vincent and Jazz. Curiouser and curiouser. Anyway, we seem to have missed Sophia on her way home, so let's run back, back to her house and see if we can uh, give her a gift. Hope she likes coral. Hello? Hi. Oh, I don't know about this. Update. She doesn't like it. Hi, Hawk. Spring is ending soon. So much to do. I have a lot of work on my plate. At least your farm is set up. You want to know the ironic thing? When I look over at OBS and see if it's recording everything well, the game looks so much smoother on OBS than it does on on the actual game screen. On the, on the monitor I'm playing the game on. Now how does that make sense? Congratulations folks, we have one part of the farm cleared. To 20 out of 240, good enough for me. 
sell all of this. Oysters. Do we need oysters for the community center? Pantry, classroom, fish, tank, crab pot. No. Oh, a chicken statue. Hi, chickens. Stirfy is trying to sleep. Nugget is trying to sleep. Sorry, guys. I'll try and remember you tomorrow. So what can we do with a chicken statue? Give it to Gunther. Cool. Guess we'll uh, go give that to Gunther. Or then. Even though we have a full energy bar, we sleep. Oh, something happened. Oh, we made, got an achievement. Yay. Here we come, Hat Mouse. Dear resident, in our time in Stardew Valley, Georgia has made an effort to become a contributing member of the community. But we can't do it without your help. If you chose to shop at Georgia uh, competitors such as Pierre's General Store, you won't have the same assurance of quality and consistency. And without your business, we won't be able to afford to contribute as much as we'd like to local charities. Shop at Georgia Mart and keep your community great. Georgia Mart, we hate you more than you realize. No, I will not be shopping at Georgia Mart. Alright, so given that it's the first of summer, I think it's uh, uh, time that we leave off here. The next time we meet, there will be so much to do. Getting ready, getting the farm ready, getting all the crops that we need, need and, and starting a new summer adventure. So, thank you all so much for watching. If uh, you like this, I do have other content that you would like, such as my summer jam, Easy Times Ahead, out now. Oh, on streaming services, if you'd like to hear that. I do have other content as well. More Stardew Valley. You have more covers. And my own music. But in all seriousness, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope you enjoy. See you soon.